Did you know that the average person will use over 300 toothbrushes in their lifetime? Today, we're going to explore how toothbrushes are made from start to finish. This topic might seem simple, but it's super important for our dental hygiene. So let's get into it and discover what goes into that little tool we use every day. Step one, material sourcing. Everything begins with small plastic pellets. These pellets are made from strong plastics like polypropylene, which are perfect for making toothbrush handles. The pellets are heated until they melt into a liquid form, ready to be shaped. It's like turning little beads into a smooth, flowing river of plastic. Step two, molding the handle. The molten plastic is then injected into molds that give the toothbrush handle its shape. Imagine pouring liquid into a mold and watching it cool down to create the perfect shape every time. This is where the toothbrush starts to look familiar. It's quick, precise, and amazing to see how the same mold can produce thousands of identical handles. Did you know that in some factories, the entire process of molding a toothbrush handle takes just a few seconds? The high-tech molds used can produce up to 20 handles at once, all perfectly identical. What's even more fascinating is that these molds are cooled with water running through tiny channels inside them, allowing the plastic to harden almost instantly. This rapid cooling process ensures that each handle is strong and durable, ready to last through months of daily brushing. Step three, making the bristles. The bristles, usually made from nylon, are next. The nylon is heated and stretched into long, thin strands. These strands are then cut into tiny pieces that will become the bristles of your toothbrush. Think of it like making spaghetti, but much thinner. The bristles need to be soft enough to clean your teeth without hurting your gums, which makes this step super important. Step four, inserting the bristles. Now, the bristles need to be attached to the handle. Machines place bunches of bristles into tiny holes in the brush head with incredible speed and precision. These machines work so fast, it's almost like watching a magician perform a trick. The bristles are then securely fastened so they don't come loose while you're brushing. Inserting the bristles into a toothbrush might seem simple, but it's actually a highly precise process. Some advanced factories use machines that can insert thousands of bristles in less than a minute. What's really cool is that these machines not only place the bristles, but also fold them in half and anchor them securely into the brush head, all in one seamless motion. This method, known as staple set, ensures that the bristles stay firmly in place even after months of brushing. It's like watching a perfectly choreographed dance where every move is executed with pinpoint accuracy. Step five, trimming and shaping. Once the bristles are in place, they're trimmed to the right length and sometimes shaped into specific patterns. This step is all about making sure the toothbrush can reach every corner of your mouth effectively. Whether it's a wave shape or a dome, the design helps you get that perfect clean. Step six, adding extra features. If the toothbrush has extra features, like rubber grips or a tongue scraper, they're added at this stage. These features aren't just for looks, they make the toothbrush easier to hold and more effective. It's like adding the final touches to a masterpiece. When it comes to adding extra features like rubber grips or tongue scrapers, it's all about making your brushing experience as comfortable and effective as possible. But did you know that the placement of these features is carefully designed based on human ergonomics? The rubber grips, for example, are strategically positioned to fit naturally in your hand, giving you better control while brushing. And those tongue scrapers on the back? They're not just an afterthought. They're added to help remove bacteria from your tongue, keeping your breath fresh. It's amazing how much thought goes into these little details to make your toothbrush not just functional, but a joy to use every day. Step seven, quality control. Before the toothbrushes are packed up, they go through strict quality checks. This is where any problems are caught, ensuring that only the best toothbrushes make it to the store. They check everything from how strong the handle is to how well the bristles stay in place. It's like giving the toothbrushes a final test drive before they hit the road. Step eight, packaging and shipping. Finally, the toothbrushes are packaged and sent out to stores. The packaging keeps them clean and protected until you're ready to use them. Some companies even use eco-friendly packaging, which is better for the planet. After packaging, they're shipped out, ready to land in your bathroom and start their job of keeping your teeth clean. When it comes to packaging and shipping toothbrushes, it's not just about protecting the product, it's also about making a positive impact on the environment. Many manufacturers are now shifting towards using eco-friendly materials for their packaging, 
such as recyclable cardboard or biodegradable plastics. This means that the packaging not only keeps your toothbrush clean and safe until you're ready to use it, but also helps reduce waste and protect our planet. Plus, the packaging is designed to be compact and lightweight, which reduces the carbon footprint during shipping. Now, I want to hear from you. What's your favorite type of toothbrush? Are you team manual or team electric? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and keep brushing.